I'm the airport manager at Tyler Pounds Regional Airport, and we celebrate a real milestone, I think, for this airport. Over the years, it's been a dream, rebuild that runway and have it. Through a lot of effort, uh, we were able to cut that ribbon today to say we're ready for business, and that's what we're here to do. And our next phase with the City of Tyler is how can we make sure that the flying public knows this runway is ready to serve. Tyler Pounds was primary runway was 1331. The master plan recommended runway 422 because it was longer and it was closer to the terminal building. The decision was to move the primary runway from th runway 1331 to runway 422. It was a collaborative effort that allowed us to be able to implement such a complex project and to be successful at it because it required all entities to be working in unison to make this possible. It starts off, I think, with the FAA and how they've been so cooperative and they share that conviction to finish and prioritize this project. Also, too, of course, with KSA engineers. It started off in just the planning part. We weren't you know, really building anything, but we were certainly making a plan to build it, and it came true. The specific challenge was getting the FAA to approve moving the primary runway. That was very difficult because that doesn't happen very often, and so essentially we had to really strengthen our justification to be able to get the FAA to concur with this project. Everything that the FAA is involved with, everything that we do, our, all our guidance is safety. With the new runway, you can contact airlines or anyone who has a large airplane that needs a long runway and offer your facilities to them. It just opens up the door for marketability when you have the new facilities. Your runway is over 8,000 foot long now, so that can accommodate many, many airplanes. And during the process over four years safely, I think that's a, a, a thing to be proud of. There's been times when even in the middle of the project we thought, oh, this funding stream or this funding stream might be a concern, but persistence is what comes to my mind on this project because it doesn't happen in a short period of time and we're just happy to have played a little part in that. Being able to make schedule, you know, adhere to our budget as closely as we can and make sure that the quality work that taxpayers pay for is very important. And I think as a team with KSA, the City of Tyler, the FAA, we managed to accomplish that. When we were overlaying this runway back in the early 90s together, I remember the, there were some leaders in this community, even back then, who had a vision for a longer runway. We're just so thrilled to see the community's vision come to fruition today and see this runway open up. It's really exciting for us. We would love to see additional air service, that's great. But also our general aviation public needs to see those opportunities open up for them. I don't even want to put limits to say it would be cargo. Could it be aircraft manufacturing? Let's not put a ceiling on this thing. Let's look for the stars.